All right, uh, let's look at the homework 2.5, um, problem number 8. All right, so uh, uh, we have a, a piecewise defined function, and uh, we want to evaluate uh, these guys. All right, uh, f of 1. So when x equals 1, uh, so 1 is included here, so we're going to use uh, 5 to the x. So 5 to the 1 is going to be 5. All right, All right that's pretty simple. Uh, f of 7, uh, 7 is included in the middle formula, right? So you do 6 minus 7, so it's going to be negative 1, right? And then here, uh, we want to approach uh, 1 from the left, right? So here, 1 from the left, uh, so since you're uh, approaching from the left, uh, we have to use this formula. And then we're going to plug in 1 here. So uh, 5 to the 1, uh, first power, it's going to be 5. All right. If you're approaching from the right, uh, then we're going to have to use the second formula. So you have a 6 minus 1, so it's going to be uh, 5 again. All right. And then uh, if you're going to, uh, x is approaching 7 from the left. All right. So we have to use the middle one. So you have a 6 minus 1 is negative 1. Right, right. If you're approaching from the right, uh, you're going to have to use the third formula. So it's going to be a square root of seven. So it's going to be a square root of seven. Right. We have that. Right. So uh, for each x value at which uh, I find each x value at which f is discontinuous. Right. So let's see um, discontinuity. Right. So it looks like uh, here. Uh, at 1, uh, everyone seems to give you 5, so the tendency agrees with the actual function value, so it's actually continuous at 1. But at 7, you can see that the limit doesn't even exist, so we know that uh, discontinuity is going to be at uh, 7, right? So we have that, and then uh, f is continuous from the right, or left at this value. So if you look at that, and uh, let's see, so equality is included at seven is the middle one. So it's a uh, it's going to be continuous from the left, and then uh, not from the right. So continuous from the left, right? So sketch the graph of uh, this function here. So first piece is going to be an exponential function um, uh, less than or equal to 1. So it's an increasing exponential function, right? So it certainly has that. And the second picture has that too. And third picture, and it, well, actually it looks like everyone has that. So that doesn't uh, uh, help us. All right, uh, 6 minus uh, x, all right? So the middle one is 6 minus x. So you have uh, 6 minus x. So this one doesn't seem like it's hitting uh, 6 there, right? So this one actually, uh, yeah, I don't think it'll hit 6 there, right? So this one, it doesn't, right? Or right, this one is the only one uh, that is, uh, you know, the y-intercept is going to be about 6. So we already know this is the right answer. Right, and uh, you can see that the, the, uh, it's continuous there, but it's not continuous there. So it looks like uh, this is the right picture. All right, uh, let's check the answer. All right, uh, I came back and looks like uh, we got, uh, let's see, all parts including the graph correctly. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.